Welcome to the math record. Today I'll be covering the ICTM State 2017 Division AA Part 2 for Algebra 2, which I'll be answering questions 17 and 19. Okay, question 17. Let n be a positive integer such that n is greater than 1000. Let k be a positive integer. Let n plus 1 be a number that divides the group of n plus k positive integer into two groups such that the group of integers less than n plus 1 has the same sum as the group of integers that's greater than n plus 1. Determine the smallest possible value for n. Okay, so if we kind of think about a number line, and we have 1 to um, n plus k, because that's the, we have n plus k groups of numbers, so we start from 1, it's just n plus k at the end. And then we have n plus 1 as our number. So the sum of, from any numbers from there and below n plus 1, and then from above f plus 1 to n plus k, they have the same sum. So basically, what that's what they said. So the sum, we could just use the arithmetic sequence because it's just going up by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 until n plus k. So it's split by n plus 1. So what we could say is that is uh, number of terms, since it goes up to n, and this is n plus 2. So it's just like right above it, so n plus 2. So we have n from n to 1, 1 to n, that's just n terms. And then the first one is 1, and the last one is n. And that's equal to n plus 2 to n plus k. So that would be k n plus k minus n plus 2, which is equal to k minus 2. And then you have to add a 1 because you need to include n plus 2. So that would be n k plus 1 over 2. And the first number is n plus 2. And the last number is n plus k. Okay, so we probably just don't need to, we could probably multiply 2 to both sides so we don't have to worry about that. So this is going to be n squared plus n. And this is going to be, um, you could cancel out this n to make 2n. So then this is 2kn plus 2k plus k squared minus 2n minus 2 and minus k. So if we put everything in terms of n, so k, I mean n squared, plus, and then uh, our n's are here, here, and here. So 2n plus this n is 3n, 3n minus the 2kn, so 3 minus 2k, and then your n. And then our constants are these, so 2k, and this k makes k, so then going to the other side would be negative. So the only positive is the 2 minus that k, and then minus k squared, and that would be equal to 0. Okay, so we could just use the quadratic formula. So we have n squared, my, 3 minus 2kn plus the constants. So negative b is 2k minus 3 plus or minus b squared, which is 4k squared, and then minus 6 minus 12k plus 9, and then minus 4ac. So minus uh, k squared is positive 4k squared, so that's 4 plus 4 is the 8 here, and then uh, 4, negative 4 times this uh, 1, negative 1 is plus 4, so negative 12 plus 4 means this becomes an 8. Okay, and then negative 4 times 2 is negative 8, and then negative 8 plus this 9 is makes this a 1. Okay, so that's over 2a, and a is just 1, so this is just 2. So how do we know it's plus or minus? Well, this number when we minus a negative number, because most of these are negative, that means this number is greater than this number. So generally, we're gonna, we're, we don't want to subtract it to make a negative number, because this value is going to equal to n, because that's a quadratic formula. That means this is going to actually be a plus instead of a minus. So this is going to be equal to our n. So okay, let's get rid of that circle. That kind of looks a bit ugly. And this one is just going to be a really big plus. Okay, so that's a plus, and that's n. So there is no way to really simplify this, so what you're going to actually do is use trial and error. So how do you know where to start? Well, if you kind of think about it, ignore all these terms. This is just square root 8k squared, so it's just square root 8k. So our square root 8k plus 2, uh, 2k minus uh, 3 divided by 2 should be greater than 1,000. So 1,000 times your 2, and then add your 3, and then divide it by 2 plus the square root 8. And you should start somewhere around 4, 14 and 415. 
So you should start at 414 or 415. And then you just go straight up. So 416, 417, 418. And sooner or later, you're going to get to an integer. And it's actually kind of far away. But if you kind of just make a table and you go up to like 100 numbers, sooner or later, you're going to get it. And it's going to happen when n is equal to 493. And you sh I mean, when k is equal to 400, I mean, sorry. You plug in k is equal to 414, 415. And then at k at 493, you should get an n value of 1183. I mean, 1188. And that should be your answer. Well, one of your answers. And the other answer, which is really stupid, and the reason is because they didn't really specify that it has to start at 1. So they just set n plus 1 number that the divides the number or group of n plus k positive integers. So it just said it has to be a positive integer. It doesn't have to start at 1. So theoretically, there should be a sequence where the smallest possible n should just be higher than 1,000, which is the smallest integer is 1,001. And that's another possible answer, which is just really dumb because they forgot to specify. OK, now number 19. Determine the values for x such that x is a real number such that log of square root x plus x over 2 plus x over 4 in that pattern is equal to log 4x minus 15. Okay, so if we kind of take out our x, that would just be 1 plus 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 eighth plus 1 16. So that's just going to be an infinite geometric series. So all we had to do is just take the first term. The sum of an infinite geometric series, so 1 plus 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 eighth uh, into infinity, basically it's going to just be the first term, which is 1 over 1 minus the ratio. So 1 to 1 half, 1 half to 1 fourth, that's just a ratio of 1 half. So it'll be 1 minus 1 half. So this is going to be 1 divided by 1 half is just 2. So this is going to be 2 times x, so 2x. So that means the log of that number is just log square root 2x. So all that just simplifies to 2x. So that's just an infinite geometric series. And then log 4x minus 15. So they're telling us that square root 2x is equal to 4x minus 15. So square both sides, so that's 16x squared minus 60 minus 120x plus 225. So, and then 2x. So let's move this above. And then we're going to have 16x minus 122x plus 225, 0. So you could use the quadratic formula, or you could factor. It doesn't really matter. So let's just kind of um, factor and see how this works. So if let's try an 8 and a 2. Because it's probably not a 4 and a 4. So let's see. So if we use anything with fives, it's going to have a unit digit zero. So this cannot be a five. So this is 15 originally, so it's 15 squared. So it's probably going to be like the three and a five. So it's probably going to be five squared and nine squared. So that's minus uh, 25 and then minus nine. So let's see if that works. Eight times nine plus 25 times two. OK, that works. So that means x is equal to 25 over 8, or x is equal to 9 or 2. So you could probably just do the same thing using the quadratic formula to get your x values. And then we need to check which one works. So we just need to look at this equation. So we plug in 9 over 2. That is 2 times 9, which is 18 minus 15. That is positive 3. So this works. If we put 25 over 8, that's 25 over 2, which is 12.5 minus 15 is negative 2.5. So you can't take a log of a negative number, so this doesn't work. So your only answer for number 19 is 9 over 2. And that is going to conclude the video for Algebra 2. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next math record.